Okay, so here's a quick introduction to the urine pregnancy test kits that we use at both campuses. Uh, these are essentially OSIM HCG combo tests and uh, they give us a result of pregnant or not pregnant qualitatively uh, within three minutes. So first of all, we want to do pregnancy tests on pretty much any woman presenting to the emergency department that is over 12 and less than 60. Kind of think about a very broad range there. Um, it's going to have an impact on whether we're using different diagnostic tools like CTs versus x-rays versus nothing in different medications of course as well. Uh, so if you're going to do a UPT test, here's the actual test itself. I want to introduce you first of all to, first of all it says QC on it which is great. You see this lot number here, 151239. What we're supposed to do is we're always supposed to take a look at that lot and then find that lot over here in the binder, 151239, and note that it has actually been QC'd in the lab. Once it's been QC'd in the lab, the whole lot is good to go and ready to be used. So the testing is pretty simple, but that's kind of step one. Step two would be to actually use the urine pregnancy test kit to dip the urine. So you want to have an appropriate location for doing this. There are locations in the pods, including uh, by triage, that actually have a kind of a chucks and a, a an area to contain any kind of a spill. Um, we have the actual test cartridge itself. We have a sample well. We have a T and a C that you might notice here. The C stands for control. You have to always have a line there. And a T is the test. If you have a line here, you're pregnant. If you don't have a line here, you're not pregnant. If the line is really faint, consider retesting it within 48 to 72 hours or uh, doing a blood HCG called a quantitative serum HCG. And take a look at this pipette. Hopefully you can see this, but there's a small hash mark right there. You're gonna, basically that's your fill line. So when you dip your urine, you're gonna fill up to this hash mark and then you're gonna introduce that into the sample well. Then you're gonna wait for three minutes to see what your result is. If you ever leave these essentially out of your immediate uh, possession, it's really important to label them. And you can go ahead and put a generic label on the back that tells you which patient it's for. You don't wanna come back and see four of these in the same test area with one person being pregnant and not know who it is. Um, so it's just, it's, it's policy that they have to be labeled when they're out of your immediate possession. People have also used micro sharpies and things like that just to kind of write uh, the demographic information that's associated with the test itself. Okay, so, you know, gloves and all the rest of it being what they are, we're going to then take a sample, pipette, fill it up to the fill line, introduce it into the sample well, and... This is not urine, just FYI. And we're gonna wait for three minutes. Okay, so three minutes have transpired, or expired, and we have seen essentially we have a control line nice and firm. There's absolutely no line of the test, uh, so we're good to go. Um, this is a negative pregnancy test, and we can proceed with our care as, as indicated for a non-pregnant female patient. Other things to kind of consider here, if the urine is incredibly dilute, essentially clear as water, low specific gravity essentially, you may not get a positive result even though they are pregnant. So always have an index of suspicion uh, and you know pull the trigger on the uh, quantitative HCG if you feel like there's any reason to not trust the result that you're getting here. And that's it.